What happens when two of history's most brilliant minds go to war? Not with weapons, but with wires. In the late 1800s, the world stood on the edge of an electrical revolution. Factories, homes, entire cities ready to be lit up. But first, someone had to decide how would electricity flow. On one side was Thomas Edison, already a household name, inventor of the phonograph, the stock ticker, and famously the incandescent light bulb. Edison was a tireless entrepreneur, building an empire out of inventions and patents, and he backed direct current, or DC, where electricity flows in one direction steadily, like water through a hose. Reliable but limited. DC couldn't travel far without losing power. Cities would need a power station every mile. Then came Nikola Tesla, a Serbian immigrant, visionary, some said madman. Tesla worked for Edison briefly until he quit, frustrated by Edison's refusal to fund his ideas for a better system. That system? Alternating current, or AC? Instead of a steady flow, AC oscillates, flipping direction dozens of times per second. It could travel miles without significant loss. AC could power rural farms, distant towns, and entire nations from a single plant. And so began the War of Currents. Edison didn't take kindly to being challenged. He launched a campaign to discredit AC, claiming it was dangerous, even deadly. He publicly electrocuted animals using AC to shock the public, literally. In one of history's most chilling PR stunts, Edison's team used AC to execute a convicted criminal in the first electric chair, branding AC as the current of death. But while Edison fought with fear, Tesla allied with George Westinghouse, a powerful industrialist who believed in Tesla's vision. Westinghouse bought Tesla's patents and began building AC infrastructure across the US. In 1893, the battle reached a turning point. The world's Columbian Exposition in Chicago needed a power system. Westinghouse and Tesla won the bid, beating out Edison's General Electric. The fair lit up with AC. Millions of visitors saw Tesla's current in action. Safe, clean, brilliant. Two years later, Westinghouse and Tesla did it again, building the first major hydroelectric plant at Niagara Falls, sending power all the way to Buffalo, New York. The War of Currents? Over. AC had won. But here's the twist. Edison, despite losing the current war, didn't fade. He remained a business titan, eventually helping form what became General Electric, a cornerstone of American industry. Tesla, on the other hand, slowly disappeared from the spotlight. He rejected fortune, obsessed over wireless power and futuristic dreams. He died alone, broke, in a New York hotel room in 1943. And yet, today, Tesla is the name on electric cars and space-age technologies. The misunderstood genius finally gets his due. While Edison, the tireless industrialist, is remembered for bringing electricity into our homes in the first place. So who really won? Edison lit the match. But Tesla lit the world.